Stephen A. I didn't hear one argument from you yesterday. I listened. I didn't hear one argument for you or Jay. Jay got up and walked out. You said you don't know basketball. I'm going to be dead honest with you. I don't know what your argument is it yet, in, 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 short of saying the words Kobe Bryant. Max, I'm going to say this. I'll sit back, Stephen A., because I truly want to hear. Max has made one hell of an argument, and I don't care if the entire internet from is against Will him. K from hey, Will Kane, this means cool, so cool, much to me. Cool. This means in, so in, much in, to me about the sport of basketball. I'm so, get I'm so touched. But the, hey, Will, the you're right. Hey, you're right. This that's is the same thing of the that's defense. Fair. The that's entire fair. internet like defense doesn't exist. You know what? To hell with the internet. Make an argument. Well, first of all, oh. I don't need the internet to make an argument. I make an argument 240 days out of the year. I don't have a damn thing to prove when it comes to basketball. That's number one. Let's number hear it. Two, number two, and more, because I, the reason why it's hard for me, Will, is because I don't like entertaining the subject because I don't look at just the numbers. I look at what my eyes see. I look at the pressurized situ situations that Kawhi Leonard had been in, which is minimal. I look at what Sokovi has minimal. been subjected to. Yes, it's minimal. It's minimal because of who he was playing <laughs> with for the vast part of the early part of his career. Wow. Remember, 97 playoff games. <laughs> Really? really? So I sat like here and I Shaquille listened. Hold on, Tom, Tom, I, I, I sat here. Molly, did I say a word? No. Nope. Did I say a word? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit up there and I'm going to say this to y'all. Kobe Bryant came into the league in 1996, 15 years before Kawhi Leonard came into the league. Look at the level of competition that he had to go against. Look at the rules that were existing in the game of basketball then compared to nine. Look at, the, look at oh, to use your word, the premium moments or whatever word that you would use that Kobe was subjected to. Look at when uh, Shaquille O'Neal left the game and what load Kobe Bryant had to carry. Look at all of those things and then look at the early part of Kawhi Leonard's career. And then after they won the championship, and he obviously was still in those last three games in the NBA Finals, particularly game three when he dropped 23 and he was a stellar defender against LeBron James then what happens he comes back they go 67 and 15 40 and 1 at home and they get bounced out by OKC in the postseason the next year he plays nine games because he's injured and then after that he's in Toronto I'm saying to you that Kyrie uh, Kawhi Leonard is absolutely positively sensational but the body of work that he's been subjected to and the conditions under which he has had to perform pale significantly in comparison to what Kobe has been subjected to. So it's not about looking at Kawhi Leonard's skill, talents, or even his numbers. It's about understanding the different times that we're living in, the different rules and regulations that purview over the game, that, that has dominion over the game, combined with the fact that there are a plethora of moments that he's never even been exposed to compared to what Kobe was exposed to to even draw that comparison. I'm not telling you what Kawhi Leonard won't end up doing. I'm not telling you he's not great. I'm I'm not telling you he's not sensational. I'm telling you his resume, as of yet, significantly compels in comparison. It's the equivalent of somebody talking about boxing, and he just started last year, and thinks can he's I, Max Kellerman. Ma, he's right, not. Max, Max can he's I really not, quickly? Please, because please, there's a body now that of work that's not both. there yet. Now that I've heard you both, can I that's just say? That's all I'm saying. I think, I think, first of all, Max, it, it, listen, man, you know I'm not a big defender of yours in any situation. You're getting taken completely out of context, and it's not fair. Everybody is saying, you're saying Kawhi is better than Kobe. You're taking you're a very... That. No, no, no. Everybody that's coming in, I hear you, Stephen A., because I want to get to what you said. He's taking the, at this point through their careers. That's what Max is saying. Under pressure. 97. And yeah, right. You're not you're making not making a generalized statement about the quality of the two players. 97 games. Stephen A., he's got it's not just the numbers he's laid out. There's another one which is plus minus. And it and it it favors Kawhi heavily in playoff games. It's plus 600 to plus 20. Now, Stephen A., you make one point which I think is valid. The era is different. And Kobe's era to be an offensive force against the defenses he had to face in his era is a good point to make. But I don't think it overcomes all the numbers Max is pointing out. Bottom line is, I think Max is being taken out of context and distorted, and he's made one hell of an argument with a well, lot of evidence being, to back he's him not, up. He's not being distorted or taken out of context by me. Because yeah, but you're I doing the same uh, thing. Talk, you, talk, took, talk, talk, you took Kobe's total body of work. No, He's but, making but just through this point. No, 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 no. I didn't take his whole body of work. I'm saying the moments that he's been subjected to. I think that's incredibly important. And I will sit there, sit, sit there and say this to you, Will. Will Kane, when you want to talk basketball, 
Mm. Who do you have as guests on your show? Don't you have those aficionados that you call on to the Will Kane show yeah. on ESPN Radio and defer to their knowledge, their experiences, because everything doesn't come associated with numbers? I'm only bringing that up to ask this question, albeit rhetorically. All right. Ask them about the moments Kobe has had to endure in his career compared to what Kawhi has, and what they would tell you is that there is no comparison. It doesn't warrant it. Nobody's questioning the skills or the greatness wait, wait, of you're, Kawhi. That's, wait, 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 Stephen, Nobody's you're making that. a different argument. You're saying Kobe had to do it more often because clearly you can't say Kawhi was never in a big moment. He's been in a lot of big moments. But that Kobe had even more responsibility, in other words, he was in many more big moments even the at the only, same point in their the career. The only time even Kawhi the, Leonard was a number one on. option and was in those moments was the time that he got undercut by Zsa Zsa Even if that I year, were, that's right, it. Even if I were to grant you that, and I think that's actually debatable, but even if I were to grant you that, let's say I'm granting you that, right now mm -hmm. because Kobe had to do it more often Kawhi can't help that what Kawhi can help is the way he responds when he's called mm -hmm. on to do it and okay. I'm telling you in those moments mm -hmm. his team ha has a better chance to win because of the right. way he's playing uh, than Kobe's teams had because of the way he was let me, playing let, let's we can give Will the last word since he's supposed to be judge and jury for some reason and that's fine that's <laughs> fine but Max Kellerman here's what I'm going to say to you based on what you said I am going to go and I am going to find some amateur boxing analyst who's going to come on television and have a beautiful, beautiful moment. He's going to be eloquent in his delivery. He's going to spew expertise. He's going to do all of that, Max Kellerman. You're saying and because of amateur? that moment, and because of that moment, hold on. I'm going to look at him and go like this. He's on the level of Max Kellerman. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not He's only on the level Kawhi, of Max Kellerman. Hold on, hold on. Not only is that a I'm bad comparison, because you're acting like Kawhi has, has had crumbs in the playoffs. Kawhi's been a finals MVP. You act like defense doesn't count under pressure. It does. Kawhi's an elite, maybe the best defender ever. He's in the argument.